These are the so-called deep fakes. Well, it's going to get worse with AI because you're, you're going to start seeing, if you think fake news is bad now, what you're going to start seeing is the ability to duplicate people's speech and figures so that it's distinguishing what's true and what's not is going to become even more difficult. Uh, been over visited me i know your, yes. your kids uh, uh, your, is this being passed on to yes you? yes our, our, our two-year-old right now i'll say how old are you and she goes i'm four and a half which is her older sister's four and a half and i go no you're not you're not four and a half and then she grabs my face and goes four and a half <laughs> <laughs> that was also kind of a schwarzenegger a little bit yeah, yeah. i'm four and a half father <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of this! The bomb in there! Get out! Dad, come on! You got to go! I need to pull up on now! You need to go watch Peppa Pig! Come on! I love Schwarzenegger as a baby! Yeah. This is so much fun! I want to watch Doc McStuffins! <laughs> and then I need my yogurt! Come on! I threw up! I need Pedialyte! <laughs> can forget this moment at the Grammys when Lady Gaga honored Sir Elton John. Thank you, Elton. Or when Lady Gaga took the stage at the Golden Globes with Bradley Cooper. But look now. It is an honor. That's not Lady Gaga standing next to Bradley Cooper. That's me, my face replacing Lady Gaga. Michael Douglas, the Kaminsky Method. And at the Grammys, there I am again. Thank you, Elton. I love you. Sure, it's innocent enough, but the technology that makes this possible makes it easier than ever to manipulate video, even putting words in people's mouths. It's called a deep fake. We're at a point right now where deep fakes are very realistic, and the technology is only going to get better. Jeff Smith studies deep fakes at the National Center for Media Forensics at the University of Colorado, and he made those Lady Gaga deep fakes for us. Every facial expression Lady Gaga makes, Morgan makes. Uh, effectively, we've put Morgan at the Golden Globes. And how did he make such a convincing fake? With free software, a regular desktop computer, and some basic programming. This is what the software generates after about a few hours of training. And after about 24 hours of training, we get a much more well-defined face. There have already been a number of prominent deepfakes spread online. And just last week, artists uploaded this deepfake video of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg delivering an ominous message. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data all their secrets, their lives, their futures. With the 2020 election getting into swing, there's growing concern deep fakes could be used to disrupt U.S. elections. And this has members of Congress scrambling to act. The potential for harm is is tremendous. Congressman Adam Schiff, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, called for a hearing on deep fakes. Do you think that this technology could disrupt the 2020 election? Absolutely it could. And what psychologists will tell you is if you see a video of someone saying something distasteful or racist or criminal or whatever, even if you're later persuaded that wasn't them, you can never completely lose the lingering negative impression of that person. While not a deep fake, just last month a doctored video of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi racked up millions of views on social media. This is the original. Most currently that he was engaged in a cover-up. Here's the edited video, which makes it appear that she's slurring her words. Most currently that he was engaged in a cover-up. But it's not just Washington. Hollywood is taking notice too. Actresses like Alyssa Milano, Gal Gadot, and Scarlett Johansson have had their faces plastered on other women's bodies in pornographic videos. In a statement in December to the Washington Post, Johansson wrote, 
Nothing can stop someone from cutting and pasting my image or anyone else's onto a different body and making it look as eerily realistic as desired. And with the technology rapidly evolving, Smith says it's getting harder to distinguish the real and the fake, although there are still some telltale signs of a fake. So if you're looking at something that might be a deep fake, you can see some of this blurriness. You can see there's less detail or definition in the eyes, but for what it's worth, Morgan is now at the Golden Globes with Bradley Cooper presenting an award. Hello. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. My goal is at least 20 people with an AR-15 and a couple trace rounds. I think I can do a good done. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. It's going to be a big event. And when you see me on the news, you'll all know who I am. Alright, my name is Nick. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go take an Uber in the afternoon before 2.40 onto school campus. From there I'll go into the walk up the stairs, load my bags, and get my AR and wait.